Kotal Murders, error number one from journalists. The downplaying of risks to tourists on Kotal. Here is part of a report from the BBC's Jonathan Head from the 16th of September 2014, being just one day after British backpackers Hannah Withridge and David Miller were bludgeoned to death. This has to be the most unlikely place you'd expect to see a crime like this. And that, of course, is what the locals are hoping, that it is just a ghastly one-off and that once it's solved, they'll be able to recover the laid-back vibe that's brought so many thousands to visit over the years. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Koh Tao, Thailand. And here is part of a BBC report from the 15th of September, being the actual day of the murders. Tropical beach and now a crime scene. Police reinforcements were rushed to this normally peaceful island to help in... This has to be the most unlikely place you'd expect to see a crime like this. Well, I beg to differ. It came as no real surprise to many expats living in the Gulf of Thailand. The difference is that many other murders were dismissed as accidents or as suicides. In my opinion, it was misleading to describe Koh Tao as a normally peaceful island. A Google search, a very simple Google search, would have actually revealed that the British tourists Ben Harrington and Nick Pearson had died on Koh Tao on the 30th of August 2012 and the 1st of January 2014, and both deaths looked conspicuously like murders covered up as accidents. I know of previous murders going back to the year 2000, and there has been a string of deaths since September 2014, which I have listed below. Careful observers of the investigation and trial that followed the murders of Hannah and David will be aware of many errors. Errors by police, errors by the prosecutor, and errors by the defence team. There were also many errors made by journalists. The standard of reporting varied from good to bad to very ordinary. In March 2017, I wrote an article arguing that tourists need to be warned of the perils of Koh Tao and not given a false sense of security by lazy journalists. I've included a link below which I will invite you to check out. The BBC produced some very ordinary reporting throughout September 2014, but Mr Head also wrote a good article dated the 24th of December 2015. And there is a link to that in the article of mine which has a link below. If you found this informative, please click like and share, and please check out the links below. Thanks so much for watching.